There are a couple of allowed manipulations that you can do with a Fisher projection. The first is a 180 degree rotation. So I can take this molecule and I'm allowed to rotate this 180 degrees so that the methyl comes to the top and the ethyl goes to the bottom. And we get this structure. The reason I'm allowed to do that, that doesn't violate my Fisher projection definition. In the original structure, the methyl and the ethyl, or the verticals, they're pointed back. Even after the rotation, they're st still vertical and they're still pointed back. The other allowed manipulation that will be frequently useful, we're allowed to rotate any three groups around cyclically while holding one constant. So let's just work with this structure we have here and say I want to hold the methyl group constant. Then I can rotate the other three around rotate the ethyl to here, the OH to here, the hydrogen to here. And we redraw the molecule. Keep the methyl where it is because we held that constant. But the OH ended up over here on the left. The hydrogen ended up down, and the ethyl group ended up over here on the right. It may at first seem strange that you're able to do that without changing the molecule, but if you build a molecular model of this and you rotate those three groups around, you'll find you can do that without changing um, the stereochemistry of the structure at all. But because of the strict rules of the Fisher projections, there are manipulations that are not allowed. The first thing is you can't do a 90 degree rotation. If we take this structure and rotate it 90 degrees, you get this, but because this is a Fisher projection, it has to follow the same definition, meaning the vertical bonds are back, the horizontal bonds are out, and if that's the case, this is the enantiomer of the first one. Also not allowed, you can't do a horizontal or vertical flip. If you flip a Fisher projection vertically or horizontally, that moves the orientation of these groups, which again will make the enantiomer. And then finally, just like any 3D or any molecule at a chiral center, you can't switch two groups. If you switch two groups, you'll get the enantiomer.